On the table, we have a newcomer to the table, Million Warriors from Spin Master. Hey everyone, this is Dan. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede. We've got warriors of miniature to go through. Last week, Super Squirrel Iber Noah said, hey, do Million Warriors. And at that time, I had no idea what they were. So I kind of did some quick research and there they were just appearing on shelf. Uh, from Spin Master, A Million Warriors, and they're super interesting as I always like collectible lines such as these where they are very tiny and you've got to kind of hunt around for a lot of different styles and kinds and they're pretty strong too. So let's begin opening up a few packs of A Million Warriors. Squirrel Stampede! Please squike, squamant, and squirrel live! On the table, Million Warriors. Let's start off with a 20 Warriors pack. These run, I think, around 10, so pretty good price point with these. The 20 packs feature an open window character. I believe that's a common strong punk from the Astrals, one of the different tribes we're gonna be going through. I don't know, tribes, groups. We've got Astrals, Ancients, and Heroes. What would you call them, Landry? So a box of 20 warriors in 110 to collect, that's going to be pretty much probably impossible. Oh look, they've included a catapult option. There always seems to be a catapult option with this style of theme. And the packs are pretty interesting. I've opened up a 10 pack already. They're kind of in these little paper sugar packet like things. So they feel pretty environmental. So I like that going on. Well, how do we find the exit of this box? Don't worry, we got this. Teeth. Primed and ready to go. Ah! My goodness, squirrels, what have you done to the packaging? So, inside 20 different packs here of Sugar Million Warriors. They're just like a chain of tickets from an arcade. I'll um, help you guys out with the rest. Let's get the catapult out. Oh no! And of the strong punk. So these guys are wildly interesting. I really wanted to figure out what they're made of, and it's actually a softer plastic. The style and size of the item indicated I thought at first would be a harder plastic, but there's actually some give to them. They're a little bit softer, and then they have a nice print over, or maybe, what would that be? Some sort of graphic, not sure how they applied that. Melted over, applied over, printed over somehow. Mm, there's a one on the back. That could be interesting. This guy has such a Star Wars Rancor-like feel, doesn't it? I mean, that's pretty much what this is. It's a Rancor, uh, but pretty good in quality. A little sticky almost. I feel like they're a little bit sticky. I wonder if that's the paint or decal going. And we begin a Million Warriors collection. We pull a ticket from the receipt, and here we've got a Sabor Wing. And Sabor Wing is even more thinly constructed than Strong Punk back there. Strong Punk had a little more mass. These guys are very flattened. And do we have a number for Saber Wing? We do, a number one again. And I am officially super old. I can barely read all the fine print of the character names of the collection. So we can see by the character guide there are heroes to collect, there are ancients to collect, and uh, astrals. And of course we've got common, uncommon, rare, super rare, and super mega rare as they get filtered down the line here. There's only three super mega rares here on the silver side. Over here, how to play the game, or games, there's a few different options to win, uh, pick a few warriors I suppose, and if one of their numbers is greater than the other, that's weird, maybe that has to do with the catapult, and then, uh, Use the launcher and take turns knocking down enemy hordes. Three turns each, so you're gonna knock over horde time. Uh, one to four players, 10 minutes, and then advanced game to win more points left standing wins. So you're gonna be doing a little bit of greater than, less than. Oh, and here's something. A common is usually one point, uh, rare 10 points, and five for uncommon. So I think that'll make more sense as we go along. All right, so we can continue on, grab another ticket and tear. Feels like a repeat, but it's not. It's just a slightly different color. I believe this is eight eyes, and yes, indeed, we are using the same body shape that we saw from Sabor Wing. So far, everybody from the Astrals today. I guess I'm okay with a body sculpt repaint. The graphics on these are so original, they really make the whole character. They are just so unbelievably tiny, though. I guess that's kind of how you're going to get to a million of these pretty quickly. 
Who's this guy in green? Another one, so I'm all about the common today so far. This is a neon nightmare, and that is quite the bright pattern so far. Very vivid green. Again, impressed by the print or somehow applied a decal to these painted over. Uh, definitely more of a print, it's not a paint. And they really are quite striking. Can you imagine if I actually had a million to open these? This would be the longest Squirrel Stampede video ever. Oh, this one looks cool. Are we finally out of the Astrals? Yeah, I found a hero character. Felix Fists, a fighter. Felix Fists, very nice print as well. Bandaged up fighter arms. Number one in points, all of these so far common. And as you can see, the more of these lined up, the more variety of warriors we're gonna get. How about we go from the rare side this time? There's uh, one, two, three, four, five rare golden packs. Ooh. Okay, now we're talking. It's like a Viking in bling, all gemmed out in gold too. A little sparkle gold. A 50? Is that possible? How rare is this guy? I thought they only went up to 10. So this guy is from the Ancients, our first Ancients, and I believe it's a super rare, super rare Bejeweled Joe, the Viking in the red column there, right there, if you can't see, it's, it's really tiny to see. So I've walked away with a super rare today, that's pretty cool. The box says guaranteed rare, it did not say guaranteed super rare, so I'm not sure how that will, will replicate for you, but that was cool. Actually, one more time close up just in case we never ever see a super rare again. There he is. I feel like there's a little extra awesomeness to the detail of this. Maybe it's just the gold talking. Maybe it's the 50. Maybe it's the shininess, those little sparkle coloring in the plastic. I think this is just awesome to share. Very cool to find a super rare in the uh, Ancients category too. Our first Ancients. I say I'm pretty impressed so far with the 20 pack. There's lots going on. And back on over to a common. Ah! From the heroes, I think we just found Prom Queen. Prom Queen, that's kind of an interesting name to go with. Another common, I believe. Yep, that's a number one. You could really see that contrasting on the cape quite well. So Prom Queen is here. Everybody's a number one except for that super rare. And we're still opening. And it's Lucho Larry. I like this one quite a bit because of the blue and the yellow. They contrast well. Blue, usually my go-to color. And a funny name too, with Lucho Larry. Number one, almost like a Wolverine color scheme on the back there from the side. So that's a fun find. And we continue on. Great Easter basket idea for sure. Ugh. My first guess was a Warrior E.T., and guess what, it is called Terrestrial. So some of these characters have a little bit of a play on pop culture characters, especially like what we saw with the Rancor over here. Terrestrial, also a one common, nice spotted cloak thing going on with him. Pretty cool looking. The scale of these guys all together now starting to look really fun, especially in some of those game options. And 20, 20 of these. I. I wonder if we'll see a repeat in the same box. Not yet, as we have found another ancient a samurai character, Sammy the Sword. Who gets to name these? That's got to be a fun roundtable day. Sammy the Sword, also common, a number one character. And it's pretty neat that both sides of these are designed so well. Sometimes you get just a one-sided design, right? And it continues, another ticket. I see a full-on classic alien look. I think this is Grey Eyes, no, Grey Man from the Astrals. I see these two like teaming up pretty well. And also a number one on the back. I like the little alien characters. I wouldn't mind finding more of that one. I might have to get like several rolls of these, place them in my car and then have them available to always roll out when I'm bored. I see a military guy. So we are talking heroes and this is Starsky. Starsky a grunt in the military or possibly actually just another wrestler. He's got the padding more for a wrestler. I'm gonna have to ask some of my Spin Master contacts, how did they make these? Because they're really interesting. Let's go on over to the gold side again on this. There were five gold packs. See if we could find another rare. This is cool. Oh, it's got electricity involved. It's got to be something. It's reminiscent of a Scooby-Doo ghost, isn't it? Might have to place this guy on our thumbnail. What's our power strength? 10, it's a 10, so 10 should mean rare. 
and it took me a minute to find in the guide. This is Mr. Skeleton Face found over here on the Heroes column in green right in the center there. So a nice rare find and one of my favorites today. Oh, so many of these have been turning out awesome. Back to common or what the squirrels like to say, squammon. A knight. It's steel shorts from the ancients. This one's real fun and interesting. All of these. Number one. So common. Feels like a fun one to catapult because of all the metal. The plastic metal. All of this still coming from the same pack. I believe from the ancients we found a bright orange Melgar who seems to be like an alien suited guy. Like a guy within an alien suit. Is that what I'm seeing? It's a little hard to see this one. So closer up, it's a dragon suit of armor, the guy inside of an armor style that looks like a dragon. If I've said that right. So not really a, a dragon eating a guy, but a guy inside a dragon suit. Everybody got that? A couple more commons are left before we get to our final rares. Ooh, creepy. We have maybe a Saruman type guy, Christopher Lee. Is that the name? I love that actor. He's awesome. Since passed on, I believe. Oh, it's Merlin! Merlin the wizard! Yeah, I definitely thought wizard with this one, but not so much Merlin. I thought Merlin was a kinder fellow, wasn't he? I don't know. This wizard has like a greenish tone to his hands like he's been playing in some sort of ooze. And also a common number one with a very purpley uh, cape torso thing. And another last common pack. I'm very impressed we didn't pull repeats in common yet. This is a ice beard Viking-like character. Several of the Viking shapes. I think we're going to start seeing a lot of repeats and shapes as we continue on. As that was our super rare with our bejeweled Joe. And I see it being kind of fun to collect a set of shapes. The prints on them are so unique it really doesn't matter that the shapes are the same. So we have three possible rare left in the gold packs. Here we have something impressive in size. Who is this one? This has been the largest character so far today. Oh no, it's just a repeat of the Rancor character size. It's just been a long time since I saw it. Hang on, hang on, what number do we have? It's a 50! A super rare! Made steel shorts faint over there. So this is Red Bot 3000 or 5000? Reading glasses. Redbot 3000, I think I see. Over here in the Astrals, way up in this top corner. There it is. So awesome, two super rares. I hope that holds true with this series. I really believe too often they make the super rares and the rares too hard to get. Uh, ruining the fun of the toy. Make it a little easier, especially in a large multi-pack. And that's what they've done today, so I like that. Ooh. Something chilly. I think we found someone from the Uncommon, our first Uncommon, a translucent blue icy character. Yes, a five, so a five would be Uncommon. I like the numbering, that really helps helps cement these down. This is Ice Ice from the Heroes. That's a fun one with the transparency, haven't really seen a full on transparency yet. And now we can see maybe a little bit on how they are made, or what kind of plastic is this? What is going on inside the depths of number five here of Ice Ice? Very nice print and a cool stance. I like the fighting stance of that one. And I think we have one left, one gold pack left to discover. It's another cool uncommon, I think. Yeah, it's another uncommon. This character from the Ancients, it's Laser Beam. Laser Beam with a little bit of a transparency too. The Uncommon series must have that maybe in common <laughs> or uncommon. Well, how did we do? I would say a home run with these as no repeats in a multi-pack of 20 for us today. I don't know if that will be for you too, but even if we had say one or two repeats in 20, that would not have been a bad thing. So starting off a collection of these, pretty fun because everything should pretty much come out all new for you. We've got a catapult to build too. Let's see this little catapult. I've noticed there's a difference in style between some of these. This one has the steel feet, kind of like an AT-AT. Looks like a little robot crawler with the feet styled like the feet of an AT-AT and um, now I just have to figure out which direction this goes in, probably this way. Yeah, there we go. 
So this being an extra fun play style of feature for these, just take your character and place them softly inside. There's a little resting point for them. Maybe hold a finger there and uh, give them a lob across the table. I don't want to lose these guys. I think I actually can go even farther. Maybe if I shoot towards my back wall here, uh, all the way down, I had my, my finger in the way. Oh, these guys are going to fly. Ouch. That gives it a good three to five feet or more. So I suppose if you gather your guys out, give a good distance, you can really smash each other. But I'm more interested in all the different characters than I really am the game. I think it's just a fun one to collect here. There are also 10 warrior multi-packs out there. A little bit helpful if you don't want 20, you want a smaller size and a great price point. $5 for 10, that's two per dollar. So 50 cents each on these, is that how they're pricing out? About 50 cents each for each of these little characters, not bad. Considering how detailed the print is, they feel a little more high quality than what you would see from a capsule machine. So in a pack of 10, you'll get a stripe of three with a rare on top, another stripe of three, and a couple twos, so that should be 10, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so 10 more to open up. That should be fun. So let's go through some of these now, see what we can find. Maybe I'll go a little faster now. Got a green guy. Got a brainy guy. Another looking grizzled soldier guy. Another Viking guy. Gold suited guy. Maybe I'll hold the uh, rares as we continue on. Another Viking character. Ooh, this guy's strong, he's big. Just like this guy, same size. And one more of these guys. So somehow, I think we're still on no repeat zone. Oh wait, this guy was a repeat. Our first repeat with the gray guy, the gray eyes, gray legs, what do we call him? This one here behind those, super impressive Slither Man from the heroes, a snake-like character, also a very wide-built character, so a little more mass would be fun to shoot with. And his counterpart, Chops, over here, a really strong man guy. That guy looks tough, wow. Number one there, a little back hair too. Back hair guy. Then we have a Mars Attacks character, a gray matter, that guy from the Astrals, space, right? We've got two night uh, looking characters, possibly Knight Grunt characters. Both of them pretty grizzled, especially, I think that's Treterface? I don't get the name, Treterface. And his buddy Tin Can Tillman. <laughs> I like that name, Tin Can Tillman is a little more funny. And then back over to the other side, some more Viking characters. Beardy, Beardy McBeardfall, <laughs> Beardy McBeardall, I cannot read this. I tell you, start a YouTube channel 15 years ago, things start changing. Um. Beardy McBeardall. So it is Beardy McBeardall. There he is. Can everybody see that? Um, I'm sure seeing that. This is actually really helpful for looking at printed dates from when a toy was manufactured sometimes from. So Beardy McBeardall and McFizzy is the other knight. McFizzy. That's a funny name. So we have found plenty of knights or Vikings. I keep calling them knights. Vikings collection here. And now a chance at an uncommon rare, super rare, or super mega rare, right? So indeed, rare took me a second to find. Rare is at 10. Pretty scary warrior. This is Ike, I think. Yeah, this is Ike, a rare, so a great find. A little bit of a green plastic coloring to it, so that might be how you kind of determine if they're rare. And one more here, one more warrior fun. Gotta be a common, it's a five, a mummy. Oh no, not a mummy, but an invisible man trying to show itself. Disappearo is the character's name, so it is a disappearing character. Five on the back there. Some wrappings around and sunglasses, just like you see with the invisible man. So browsing the guide, I'm doing pretty well so far. Obviously when you start a collection like these, you won't repeat too often, but I think we have time for one more 10 pack. I'd like to give it a few more tries. The price point, again, has certainly piqued my interest for collecting many of these. Oh, I think we've seen that guy before. Oh, and that guy too. That's unique. So that might be too. We'll save the rares for the end. Got that one. That's new. That's new. And that's new. So we're getting to that teetering point. 
So we know Steel Shorts has been doubled, and Melgar the Dragon Wearer, we've seen him before, but these, I believe, are new. So who do we got with this group? They're fun. Oh wait, we saw this dude. So we can start with Macho Man here. Cool Guy Larry. Common, spinning around. Green Fly. Kinda creepy with that third eye up on its head. Winged. Extra body mass. Furp! Furp! Hard to say that one, but there's Furp! Not sure what Furp is. Anyone guess a clue at what Furp could be? Furp is from the Astrals. So maybe just another alien character. And Metal Hand, also from the Astrals. These two, these three are Astrals. And what about this guy? Oop. Alien Girl. So these four are from the Astrals and this guy back here was a hero. Alien Girl with more wings. The uh, panel, the extra wingage, I think would give you a lot of damage in a catapult accident because there's so much more surface area. Surface area is the word I was looking for in the attack. And a couple more gold packs here to see. Rare, it's a five. I think this is Lightning Wings, and I like this one quite a bit. Another Astral, this pack almost themed after Astrals, though we did see a few heroes and a few repeats from uh, the Ancients, so it's, it's not just one theme only. A little bit of transparency too on the plastic with this one. And one more in a gold pack, it's Feels almost like another Scooby-Doo villain. Another Viking style, which I've really become fond of today. This is Firebeard from the Ancients. I like this one quite a bit to end off on. That is a rare, no, that's just a common, uncommon, excuse me. I thought rare because of red. So an uncommon Firebeard, very cool. And I gotta fit one more 10 pack in. These are just too much fun. I don't know when I will get back around it to them. So one more 10 pack. So let's pull this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. So this is Hank. I like the big builder body guys, they're fun. They're great wrestler characters. Hank is here from Heroes. This is Iron Wrath from the Ancients. Look at that, another knight character body style. I like the knights. This guy here, Aqua Dodd. Aqua Dude? Aqua Dude with two O's instead of a D-U-D-E-D-O-O-D. -O -O -D. Aqua Dude. So something's making this one kind of aqua. I feel like it's a suit. I see some piping going behind his helmet there, like he's in some sort of uh, pressurized environmental suit, maybe? And then Sir Flames. Sir Flames here from Ancients. Lots of great knights again. I like these Sir Flames. Couple final packs of a super rare as we wind it down. Who is that? This poor knight just got dragoned, maybe. It is a 10, though, so that's good. That's a rare, right? 10 is rare. And that is Sir Clinks a lot. Sir Clinks a lot. That's pretty funny. He's quite beat up. He has been defeated. And I promise you, the final, the final million warrior of today. These have been a blast. Oop, I just spoiled it, and we've seen him before, but it is one of my favorites of the day. The Scooby-Doo villain, Mr. Skeleton Face. So this is a multi-pack of 20 plus three multi-packs of 10. So about $25 worth of Million Warriors. And I'd say pretty good deal. That was a lot of fun. It took some time, we met some friends, and now we just need a million more. Well, what a strong collection Million Warriors turned out to be. I can see this going on quite a while with so many other styles of warriors. Very much so fun. If you liked today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel eye, and a squamant. Who was your favorite Million Warrior that you saw on the table today? Don't forget about Squirrel Stampede Gaming. We will hopefully be getting some more games coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.